Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree and today we have a really cool show for y'all. We are in Covington, Louisiana at the factory outlet store and they sell high performance pots. They're made here. And uh, some of the things we're doing today is going to be incredible. We're going to get to see what these pots do and, and they've got from this size on up y'all. We're going to boil some crawfish, we're going to fry some fish, we're doing some cracklings, we're doing chicken wings. And who knows what else we're going to be doing. So uh, y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens. That's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. People live like they did long ago So join the fun, live off the land Cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man Tight line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline Waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live, and it sure feels fine All right, y'all, we made it inside, and I got Mr. Todd Tunstall with me. How's it going? Doing good, Gardney. Thank you very much for coming today. Um, I'm looking around here, and y'all have some really th nice things to offer today as far as the pots. Uh, you told me some about the pots, but let's tell the people, uh, how, how did this come about? How, how did this high performance come about? Well, about 10 years ago, I came up with the first high performance product on the market today for boiling crawfish only. And... In 2019, I had came up with a design for the next generation of high-performance pots that have the ability to come to a boil in one-third the time than a traditional pot. Wow, wow. And, 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 and y'all have so many different lines of pots from small to large, and y'all have these different bases on them. Uh, for the bigger pots, let's tell them about some of the features that you can use on these big pots. Okay. Well, the thing is, today... Our new high-performance product is capable of not alone boiling, but frying and cooking. So we have interchangeable burners designed for boiling, cooking, and, and frying. This is a natural gas version of our pot product. To, for all you have natural gas at your house and you've always wanted to use it, now you can boil in natural gas. You don't have to go fill up propane anymore. You just That's hook it onto the house, and if you want to take it somewhere, you can switch it. So this one here. That's go camping. You can just switch it with this burner and you can, on propane. Natural gas doesn't perform as well as propane, but our bottom is so effective and so efficient that, you nearly, that it works beautifully. So uh, our... 10-inch uh, cooker over here is fabulous for doing crackling and other things in our pots. And that's some of the things we're going to be doing today, y'all. We're going to be uh, frying and balling. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, we're fixing to get down in business right now. We're going to get some Bloody Marys coming up. We're going to do some frying. We're going to do some cooking. So y'all hang on. All right, y'all. We made it outside here this morning. And with me, I've got Mr. Chris Ferret. How's it going? How you doing, Ronnie? Very good. Now, you're with... Creole seasoning. Yeah, go Creole spices. That's our, our spice line. And no better way to start off the morning than making a Bloody Mary. And I'm here, and this is an award-winning Bloody Mary. Yes, it is. We use our Bloody Mary Juju. It's a dry spice. And we mix it with vegetable juice, some lemon juice, and some William Perrins, and, of course, vodka. And uh, we won the Bloody Mary Festival a couple of years ago with that, with that blend. You can make it at home. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Let's do it. Let's right, do it. Let's, let's see it. you doing it. Now, uh, was there a bunch of Bloody Marys in the uh, contest? Uh, I think there was uh, 20 different companies wow. presenting their Bloody We were wow. up against the likes of Commander's Palace, Ruby Slipper. Uh, I think the Brennans had their Bloody Mary there. It's, it's a lot of stiff competition. Got you. Got you. Now, when you, when you make these Bloody Marys, somebody's got to drink them, you know? That's right. <laughs> we, don't have, we never have any trouble with that. I, I was figuring that. I was figuring that. Now, the key to this, though, is the spice, is the juju. That's right. The juju is absolutely what makes the difference. And you can, when you're making bulk like this, because we're going to be drinking these all morning, you use quite a bit. Okay. I mean, you can go you know, as much as a half a cup. Oh, wow. Yeah, so don't, it's not real salty, so you don't have to worry about over-salting 
and having too much sodium. Gotcha. Boy, it smells. Good. It's, Man, no, it's, it's, it's got a little smokiness to it. And then some Worcestershire. And the Worcestershire size just, just kind of rounds it out a little bit. I like that. I like that. Now, uh, you not only make the juju, you have several other sp spices. As a matter of fact, you have a crawfish boil and... We have an award-winning crawfish boil. We've won multiple competitions with this bag right here. This is a, this got 15 different ingredients in it. Wow! It's one of the lower sodium products in the market, which makes it, uh, you know, that means it's a four and a half pound bag. So it's packed with flavor. You don't need to add anything else. Gotcha. You simply and use that. You also do crawfish balls, and you sell crawfish. That's right. We sell. We do catering. We sell boiled crawfish. We sell live crawfish. And uh, out of Mandeville. This is when we'd have the number on the bottom of the screen for right. to call him. So you'll see the number down on the bottom right here to call him up. And so we're just going to slice up some lemon here. Squeeze some juice in there. Yeah. All right. Now, what's the... You can't forget the vodka. Can't forget the vodka. We left enough room in there for right. us to put about half of that jug, look like. That's a, that's a key <laughs> key step. Don't overfill your pitcher before you put the vodka in. Now, uh, uh, that's about good. There we go. Now, that's the breakfast of champions, I would have to say. That's right. Give it a stir. I like to let it sit for a couple of minutes to uh -huh. let the spices dissolve a little bit and stir them again. And we'll be ready to drink these in about three or four minutes. And also just like to look at the texture. It's a little thick. I see yeah, a little thickness a little in thick. it. It's the vegetable juice is a little thicker than tomato juice. Okay. And it also just adds a little more flavor. It's less acidic than tomato juice. Gotcha. Okay, y'all. We're going to stir them up. We're going to let it sit a few minutes. And we're going to taste one. All right, Todd. These are the high-performance 120s with the three different burners. Tell us about them. Okay, well, you have the first one here, which is our core product, with the three triple jet burner. It's 375,000 BTUs, designed specifically for boiling. And that, it, it give you an example of that speed. Half filled is 15 gallons. That pot boils in 6.5 minutes on average. Woo, wait. The, the, the uh, natural gas burner is a 32 jet multi jet burner. And it's specifically designed so that if you have natural gas at your home, you're able to boil crawfish. doesn't give you that kind of speed. You're at about 13 minutes to a boil, but that's still excellent yes. for natural gas. Yes. And then, and then last but not least is our, multi, is, is our banjo burner specifically designed for frying and cooking. And you could go down to super low simmering levels and cook gumbo, all different types of uh, frying from crackling, to chicken wings, to anything you want to fry in this pot. It also does three turkey pot turkeys at one time. Wow, wow. Now, these pots you have is a thick, a real thick pot now. Absolutely. They're four millimeters. Not all of our pots are minimum four millimeter wall thickness and are full-fitting baskets. So you can see how heavy-duty the baskets are. And we also have six millimeter 120s and 160s with stainless steel baskets now. Wow, wow, that's incredible. The, the, the speed of this is what's getting on to me. And also the versatility of changing the burners. I mean, it's incredible, y'all. And I'm going to tell you, we fixing to get on them crawfish right now, so hang on. All right, Chris, we got crawfish clean. We're ready to ball them. Yep, so what we did here, again, we're using the 120-quart pot. And one of the things I like to tell people, when you buy a big pot like this, you can do – you know, damn near close to three sacks of crawfish. You take the, the basket out, but a lot of people will do two sacks. But when you're only doing one sack, you really got to pay attention to your water level. You'll get, people get carried away. It doesn't look like a lot of water when, you know, with these big 120 quart pots. So right. we're only using about eight to eight and a half gallons of water today. Okay. And that is really equates to the fourth hole up from the bottom on the basket. Okay. For those folks on camera, it's about right here from the outside. It's about right here. Is that where you have it? Yeah. So it, it's not much. And, I mean, it's okay if you add too much water, but what you're going to wind up doing is diluting the seasoning that you're using. And then you have to spend, use more seasoning, which costs you money. And we're trying to save you money because you're already saving on the propane use, using the tunnel tube cooker. 
you're going to invest in a very quali top quality product that is the Go Creole seafood boil, and we don't want to dilute that in, at all. So eight and a half gallons would be the most I use for one sack crawfish. Um, so what we're going to do is we have this here, this 15 different herbs and spices in it, one of the lower sodium uh, products on the market. Ooh, I smell it already. Yeah, it's got citrus, it's got lemon oil in it, dehydrated orange peel, bay leaves, and a whole bunch of other stuff I can't tell you. Okay? <laughs> But just trust me, this is all you need to add. In fact, the only thing we're going to add to this is we're going to add a little bit of these lemon ends. Yeah. So that when we're boiling it, that's going to release more lemon, more fresh lemon oils into the water. And then when we're done cooking, we're just going to squeeze some fresh lemon into the water. All right. All right so here we're going to dump this in. Oh, I can see the bay leaves and other particles. Yeah. Maybe some of the lim the peel in Smell there. That citrus in there. Yeah, I do. I do. All right, so we've got that in there. We want to bring that to a boil. So, ah. Um, we're just gonna put. I'm gonna stand back for that. You don't, I don't want to splash. Potatoes in the pot. Potatoes are in, and we're ready to turn it on. And we're gonna time and see how long it takes to bring this water to a boil. And then when it boils for about five minutes, the potatoes will be cooking. And once those potatoes cook for about five minutes, then we're going to dump our crawfish in. Okay. Okay. And okay. then that'll, that'll, the timing will, have the, will allow the potatoes to be perfect when you, when you pull the crawfish out. Sounds okay. good. So let's turn Sounds this good. On. All right. George. We're getting the pot going. We're going to turn it on. We're going to get it balled up. And, y'all, we're going to eat some crawfish here soon. What is it? 1.4. One minute. One minute. And 40 seconds, y'all. One minute and 40 seconds. Okay, now that, now that we're balling, where are we at now? All right, so now we're going to boil these. These are medium sized crawfish, okay? So, one of the things you got to kind of be, take it, you know, make sure you're understanding how big your crawfish because the right. bigger they are, the longer you have to boil them. The smaller they are, the, you don't have to boil them so long. So, we're going to go three minutes and then we're going to shut it down. And then we're going to rapidly drop the temperature of this crawfish so that we're going to kill the cooking process and we can soak as long as we want. So once we're done, after this three minutes, we're going to take this Cajun halo and we're going to cool the outside of this pot r really quickly. I think it's going to go from 212 to around 180 in less than five minutes. Okay. And then that's going to allow us to just, just let it soak for an hours as, as long as you want. And that's when all those good flavors. And that's when all those flavors, and, we're gonna, and then we're gonna, what we need to do is I just realized we gotta put that corn in after two after two minutes. Okay. So which okay. is coming up. Okay. Uh, we're using fresh corn, so you wanna boil it for about a minute. Gotcha. People like to use frozen corn because the idea is it helps drop that temperature and it without adding ice or water. Um, I think fresh corn is so much better than frozen corn, and Definitely. people wind up eating the fresh corn. They don't wind up eating the frozen corn. So, so all right, we're going to finish that. We're going to dump the corn. Yeah. So I'm gonna here we go. Gonna dump the corn here. Nice, fresh corn. All right, Chris. So we boiled our crawfish three to three and a half minutes. We are about to put this Cajun halo on the outside. It's going to do a shower of water around the outside of the pot and that's going to drop the temperature of the water rapidly. I'm, I'm guessing four minutes and we're going to be down below 183. Okay. And I really want to be around 180 just to where I can put my finger in the water and pull it out like that. Gotcha. So, so, gotcha. so Philip, you want to put we're gonna bring it over. On. We've got a temperature gauge in here that's reading right now just at two, I'd say I'd call that 204. Okay. All right so Turn it on. And this is made out of marine grade, marine grade aluminum. Uh-huh. And it's, it's just a well-built, solid product. And you can cool your t the temperature of your water without having to add ice. Now, one of the things with using as little water that we used, you can add a 10-pound uh, bag of ice without over-diluting this, our bag of seasoning. Ah, okay. So you can, that's built and even the instructions on the bag allow for a 10 pound bag of ice to cool your water without diluting it i mean it's going to dilute it but it's not going to 
take the end goal game right. out of it. It's not going right. to change the now what's game. Now, what's this called again? Cajun Halo. Cajun Halo. Yep. And it's, it's solidly built. It's made out of marine-grade aluminum. And we're just going to let it do its magic. Okay. If we had a little bit more water pressure, we'd probably gotcha. go a little, little bit faster. Well, uh, you know, you can, you can call here in Covington and uh, – order these pots or come here to the showroom for and get some pots you also can get it from galvis hardware uh which is in prairieville and uh the phone number will be on the bottom of there also as is y'all's phone number here um the neatest thing at galvis hardware we also have all the lines of pots there we're going to have the halo there and some of the other items y'all are bringing out now with the commercial and uh, the, the thicker pots and right. some of the new things that are still coming out right now. Right. Yeah, we've got a lot of things in, in, in research and development that we're working on. Really exciting things. We're, we're talking about some different ways to clean the crawfish and without giving away too much. But, uh, yeah, there's this a, lot, a lot of things coming out. I, I've never seen that. So our balling time now, from the time we put the cold water in there, we balled those eight gallons in four and a half minutes and then we came back to a boil in a minute and 40 seconds so you know we're talking six minutes from start to finish boiling and back to a boil in less than six that's that's incredible uh, you know I, i've been around crawfish a long time and that's the quickest i've ever seen crawfish balled right there I, i've got to say and, and one of the things when you're able to bring the crawfish back to a boil that fast you really can dial in how well you're cooking the crawfish you, you, there's no mistaking overcooking or under you know if you have these old burners and they take forever to come back I've, I've i've cooked on burners that took 15 minutes to bring the crawfish back to a boil and you just can't get precise on how how well you're cooking the crawfish overcooking them or undercooking when it takes that long because they're they're cooking as you're bringing them to a boil and they're cooking as you're dropping the temperature after you boil yeah. so if you can dial it in and get it to a boil fast efficiently and then use the halo and drop that temperature down fast and efficiently and then you just soak the rest of the you know 30 40 minutes i can soak for two hours after i drop this temperature without the crawfish being mushy turning mush gotcha, gotcha. So right now how far you went we're at, we're at 150 just what we've been talking right now internal temperature of the water 50 so degrees at, yeah 150 we're at 150 on the thermometer so we're going to take this off philip you can turn that off actually um and we're just going to start squeezing our lemons in. Putting the lemons in. Fresh lemon. I have lemon oil in my bag, but you can't, you can't package fresh lemon. It's that simple. So I, that, the only thing that I, that I do is add some fresh lemon at the end. See, 150. Just amazing, y'all. Uh, so we're going to soak this probably for at least 30 minutes. Um, another little trick that I like to do. Because we've cooled these crawfish down, and because they're not cooking anymore, you can serve them straight out of the pot. You don't have to take the whole basket out if they, if they you know, you're not worried about them turning mushy and taking out. So you can just keep them warm. Take what you need. And take, eat them as you go and have fresh, juicy crawfish all day long. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, th this is really neat. Uh you need one of these, y'all. And, and I see why the name is High Performance because you have a pot that is outperforming any other pot that's ever put out on the market. I've never, I've never seen a pot perform this well. I have a, a big 250-gallon pot that I have. It's an old pot, mm -hmm. and it has, it has a six burners on the bottom of it. And it was taking me 45 minutes to, uh, to bring crawfish to a bowl. I was using about... One of these size tanks, I was about using about three quarters of the propane to get that to a boil and, and boil about 600 pounds of crawfish. So we put the, the tunnel tube technology on it around the six, where the six burners are. And we did a video, we can, we can share that with you. Um, I was able to bring 250 gallons of water to a boil and boil 600 pounds of crawfish and bring back to a boil. So start to, to finish in 25 minutes. And I used the equivalent of a small tank of, of propane. That's incredible. I mean, that for commercial use, that's a that's a game changer as far as your cost and your efficiency. And that's one thing. Uh, hopefully, folks see out there that uh, you can increase the performance of your restaurant by getting in touch with these folks, y'all, with these high performance pots. You can roll some crawfish out of there. Yes, you can. 
So we're just going to let this soak, and we're going to go start brining some catfish. And I'm going to show you a little special little trick with, with our catfish that gives you some of the crispiest catfish you'll ever have. Well, that's the kind I like. Y'all hang on. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, Chris, this is the 40-quart sauce pot. Tell us what you can do with this thing. Okay, so this pot, it's the perfect size for doing outside gumbo, jambalaya, red beans, any kind of soups, stews, whatever. Uh, but today, right now, we're going to cook some crackling with it. Yes, indeed. So we've got this, uh, we've got about a quarter inch of oil, vegetable oil, clear frying oil, whatever you have. And, um, and I took this... Uh, these cracklings I made, I took them off of a pork butt. Yeah, you told me you took the fat cap off? I cut the fat cap off. I leave some of the meat on it, and then I cut it in cubes, season it with the Creole dust and the seasoning, and I just throw it in the freezer. And whenever, So the next time I want to start making crackling, I'll take it out, thaw, you know, let it thaw out, and I just, we're just going to start doing that right here. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. So what I'm going to do here is add a little more dust. Okay. Now what he was telling me about the pot was uh, with the with the tubes underneath, the the middle of the pot is the same temperature as the side of the pot, so you got to even heat all the way across the bottom. That's right. It, there's no hot spots. Like with cast iron, you you know you're always going to have some hot spots somewhere, just because of the nature of having to season it, and one, well, one area season more than the other. This is just an even cook, and it's, it's, it's real quick. It doesn't take long. Got the sizzle. We got our nice little bottle open of paddle here. Look at that. So these cracklings, um, You'll, you'll cook them in batches or? Yeah, or just do batches. I mean, you can do all at once or, you know, little at a time, whatever. I mean, I like to serve them hot, warm. Uh -huh. And if I don't mind standing over it and cooking them, at, you know, as people are eating them, that's that's what I'd like to do. But if you're in a hurry, you can, I could do all this whole batch right, and together, right. you know. But I figure we're going to kind of eat on this all day, so we're going to come back later and eat some more. A little nibbling. Right. Keep it nice and warm. That's what, man, it's, it's uh, the versatility that, huh? of these pots is what it amazes me. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, you can't, and it's, I mean, it's, they're light. They're really portable. I mean, you, can, you know, you know how heavy cast iron is. Yeah. And then you got to bring a burner with it and all that. This is all. Just, That's what I'm liking, too. You know, you, right you, there. You could do this inside if you wanted to with this pot. You know, set it on your, on your, uh, on your table or something. If it's too cold. All right, y'all. We got the cracklings in there. We're gonna brown them down, and we're gonna show you what they look like. And we need to go check on those crawfish and see if they're clean now. Let's check them. All right, y'all. I got some uh, crawfish eaters right here. Uh, 
Have you tried one yet? Is it good? Yes. It is? It Damn, is. it's good, yeah. Is, is it good over here? Yes. Yeah? Very delicious. All right. <laughs> The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement. It's bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche sausage. It's a wonderful thing. All right, y'all. I've had a fun day, and I'm going to tell you what. We got a product here. Y'all have a product that is incredible, and uh, it's really, really bringing it to the public to let them know what you can do with these pots. It's incredible what we can do with them, the versatility of them. You can change out the burners. You know, you can go from a high, high jet burner doing the boiled crawfish. It takes literally five minutes to swap that burner with a banjo, and now you can boil peanuts, boil, make gumbo, jambalaya. It's it's, it's incredible. And then the four-way burner you got there that we use. Yes, it's absolutely fabulous. I mean, you could do shrimp. You could do all kinds of sea, different seafoods at one time, or you could do chicken and then French fries. It's, it's excellent. You can control the portions. Uh, it's, it makes it happen. And there's still more pots that you don't even know. They got the commercial pots coming up. There's a turkey fryer. There's another couple pots, y'all. You can get them here in Covington at High Performance. Look them up on the internet. Or you can get them at Galvis Hardware in Prairieville. Look it on the internet. But uh, I want to tell everybody we had a great day. I want to thank y'all for watching. And we'll see you next time on Cajun Living and Cooking.